Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Note Music here today with another tutorial, and today we're going to be going over useful key commands for piano roll in Logic Pro X. Let's get started. Okay, so I have some chords laid out here. The first key command we're going to be going over is Command A, which selects all the notes that you have laid out. I'm going to click the editor window I have open here. I'm going to click Command A, and now I have all my notes selected. Okay, next key command I'm going to be going over is the quantize key command. Shortcut for that on your keyboard is Q. If I click Q, what it's going to do is it's going to align all these uh, notes and chords onto the whatever beat or division I have selected. So right now I have 1 16th note selected. I want one quarter note. So now it aligns to the beginning of every bar. So instead of me having to click this to do that, I can just click Q on my keyboard and it accomplishes the same thing. The next key command we're going to be going over is Command C. What is Command C though? It's copy. If I select all these notes and I hit Command C on my keyboard, it's going to copy them. And when I go to the next uh, grid point here or wherever I want them to be, I'm going to hit Command V to paste them. Pretty simple. To bypass all that though, let's say I don't want to go through the Command V, Command C process, I can always do Command R. Command R copies whatever I have selected and it repeats it. Okay, so it's essentially command repeat. The next key command we're going to be going over is the semicolon key command. So what does that do? Well, it moves whatever notes you have selected to the position of the playhead. For example, let's say I have these notes selected, okay, or even these odd ones here and I want to move them to wherever my playhead is. So instead of me having to drag them, there every time. I could just leave them where they are, okay? And I can hit the semicolon on my keyboard, and that moves them to the position of my playhead. Okay, this is fun. Let's keep going. Now we're going to be going over the Shift F key command. What does Shift F do? Well, Shift F selects all the following notes from where you currently are. For example, if my playhead is here and I hit Shift F on my keyboard, it selects all the following notes. But let's say I had this note already selected, and then I hit Shift F. It selects all the following notes from the last note that I had selected. So if you don't currently have a note selected, it defaults to where your playhead position is. So if I click Shift F, it's whatever notes are following that playhead position. All right, next key command is the Shift I key command. What is Shift I? Shift I essentially selects um, all the notes that you don't currently have selected. So it's an inverse selection. What it does is if we have these notes selected here, but let's say I want to select every other note in my project. So Shift F, sorry, Shift I, if I hit that, it's automatically going to select the inverse of whatever notes I had selected. So every other note that's in my uh, region here. Okay, if you've been following along up until now, let's go over the next key command. The next key command is actually going to be a series of key commands. Um, it's the Option Shift series. So what is the Option Shift series? Well, the Option Shift series allows you to affect all the notes that you have selected to the same parameters. So for example, right now, let's take these three notes. This note has a velocity of 70, this note has a velocity of 52, and this note has a velocity of 37. But let's say I wanted to make all those velocities the same velocity. How would I do that? Well, first, I'd start by selecting these. Secondly, what I'm going to show you not to do is you can't simply drag the velocity parameter to a higher value if you have them selected. Because that's not going to make them all the same velocity. That is just going to increase their velocity by the amount that you uh, increase on the slider here. Notice how... The velocity here is 118, the velocity here is 100, and the velocity here is 85. So selecting them all and then uh, increasing the velocity parameter using the slider here didn't do anything. But how do we fix that? Well, let's say I select all these now, and I hold down Option Shift. Now I drag the slider. Let's say I want it to 55. Now what happened is they're all the same velocity. Okay, because we held down Option Shift, so it affected them all uniformly. Similarly, let's say, for example, these were all different lengths. 
okay? If I selected them all and I want to make them all the same length, I can't just drag them while I have them selected, okay? Because it's just going to uh, increase or decrease their value by whatever degree I slide it so or drag it. What I want to do instead is I want to hold down Option Shift while I drag, and that makes them all the same length, okay? I use this key command on a daily basis. I love it. It's really helpful. The next thing we're going to be doing in the Option Shift series is we're going to be using Option Shift to move notes up and down by a whole octave. If I have these notes selected and I hold Option Shift while hitting up and down on my keyboard, I'm just going to increase this a bit so you can see what's going on more. And I'm going to zoom out slightly. Okay, so I have these selected and I want to move them up and down an octave. I'm going to hold down Option Shift and I'm going to hit up on my keyboard. That's going to move it up an octave. Okay, and if I do it again, it's going to move it up another octave. Now, if I want to move it down, same thing, I just hit the down arrow while I'm holding down Option Shift. Now that you know how to move notes up an octave, I'm going to show you how to move them by semitones. How do we do that? Well, similarly, we're going to select the notes we want to move. I'm only going to hold down Option this time while I hit the up and down arrows on my keyboard. And this is going to allow me to move them up and down by semitones okay? for a finer adjustment than you have with moving them up and down an octave. Let's say there's some notes you want to keep there, but you don't really want them heard. You're not sure if you want to delete them yet, whatever the case is. In order to mute notes, what you're going to do is you're going to select them and you're going to hit Control M on your keyboard. And that is going to mute those specific notes. The muted notes are going to be grayed out so you won't hear them when your song is playing. The next key command we're going to be going over is the Force Legato key command. What is Force Legato? Force Legato essentially just makes the ends of uh, the notes that are coming before it move to the ends of the, sorry, beginning of the following notes. For example, if I select these two notes and I hit shift uh, backslash, which is the key command for force legato, it'll look like this. I get this, so let's say there's gonna be some overlap. You can choose to uh, delete the notes, keep them, or shorten them. So I want to shorten them, okay? And it's going to shorten it so it doesn't overlap, and it's going to move the ends of the previous notes uh, to the beginning of the next notes that follow it. The next key command we're going to be going over is automation, and it's as simple as hitting A on your keyboard, okay? And that opens up your automation um, editor, and now you can feel free to edit different parameters here within your editor window for that specific region. All right, everybody, that's all the key commands I have for you today. If you do like this video, please hit like. Uh, it really helps out my channel and hit subscribe if you wanna get notified whenever I post future videos. I try to post at least once a week, so hit subscribe to get notified. Thank you and take care.